All right. Uh, Donald Trump, the president of the United States, and then some random dude. And for you guys that don't know, the random dude on the right is Leangelo Obal. Uh, it's really Leangelo, but he plays for UCLA, and he has two brothers, Lonzo and Lamelo, and he's the worst of them all. And uh, in one game, he missed in his championship game last year. He missed. 28 threes for you guys that want to know uh, or it was something crazy like that basically a random guy but Trump so what happened is he got he plays for UCLA on the right not Donald Trump and we're on the basketball team so they went to China to play uh, to play a game their opening game to like create more people all around the world playing it, I guess, or something, something crazy, I don't know, to me, it seems like a waste of money to do that, but, uh, so, this very smart person on the right, Leanne Jail, Obal, he decided, oh, let me go shoplift from, from Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and two other name brand stores, that cost a ton of money to buy things and are well known and have security cameras in them like while you're in a foreign country and two other freshmen on UCLA's end but so he was facing up to two to ten years in jail in China so you know everyone's thinking oh that's the end of the story no Donald Trump goes over there Goes over to North Korea, or not North Korea, China. Same thing though, you know, close enough. Um, so he goes over to China and starts begging the president, or China's president, to let Leangelo go. And it worked. So don't really, don't really know why, why he would do that. I mean. If it was some random person, then he wouldn't be getting free, and I don't get why he should either. Because it, I don't. It to me, it doesn't make sense. And he was, and but don't worry though, Lavar. You know the the dude who has like but like ye all yellow teeth and bald. This dude's dad, the guy who said he could beat Michael Jordan in his prime, but he averages two point two points in college, or he did. Yeah, that dude. He went over there to China to try and... We all thought, oh, he's going to go try and see if he can get his kid out. No, he went over there to sell shoes because his oldest son, Lonzo, is in the NBA. And he has his own signature sh shoe. Uh, but it cost like $600 and they look terrible and it's a complete waste of money. He should actually be in jail for scamming, like, 10-year-olds out of money. And then he was also selling Lamello his shoe, even though he's only in high school. But now he's getting homeschooled, and he lost. He probably won't be able to play college anymore, so that means he can't make it to the NBA because he has his own signature shoe, which is prohibited on the NBA, NCAA's part. I'm getting sidetracked here. But anyways, President Trump went over to China and started begging, begging, begging for him to let this random, random uh, college player out, out of jail in China. And uh, it worked. He's flying home today. I mean, it's terrible. Like, look at this dude. Like, <laughs> oh, that's just too funny. But I mean, at least he'll be... Getting kicked out of UCLA and no team will want to pick him up, so his career is ruined. Or not really, I mean, he'll still play. Or somewhere, but, you know, he won't play for UCLA again. So that's funny. And, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and enjoy.